But up until recently, once again, this was kind of hypothetical. And so here we have this new research coming out of Canada. A team from University of Calgary decided to test this once again by using what's known as EMCCD, an image sensor capable of detecting and quantifying a single photon event, making it possible to observe any light, no matter how dim it is. So basically here we're talking about a super sensitive camera, with the experiment itself involving mice, living and then dead. Now, not all of you might find this ethical, but this is basically done in most labs, especially medical labs, so this is just something that's generally accepted in the scientific field. But in a nutshell, they took four mice, they injected them with anesthesia, and placed them on a heating mat. This was done in order to prevent their bodies from cooling down and in order to maintain relatively constant temperature. The mice were then euthanized, with the researchers observing how the light from mice changed over time. And it becomes pretty obvious that the light coming from these mice, actual optical light, not infrared light, dropped dramatically within approximately one hour. In this case definitively showing researchers that individual cells inside mice were producing visible light until the cells became dead. And proving that there was a significant drop in these UPEs following the demise of mice. But in order to see if this is actually something that happens to living beings, or if this was some kind of an experimental fluke, they did this again with plants as well. And so here, by using leaves from several different trees, and by causing stress inside these leaves, in this case by applying certain chemical agents, they definitively showed that it was really the reactive oxygen species that were causing all of this light. And so basically here, by increasing stress in certain regions, they increased the amount of light. This is something that was visible for many hours afterwards. But after approximately 16 hours, the leaves returned to normal, indicating that they were no longer stressed and the oxygen species were no longer being produced. And interestingly, it was the application of what's known as benzocaine or a local anesthetic, which seemed to produce the highest amount of emissions. And which also confirms that this is definitely something we can use in diagnostic techniques and something that can be used to observe if a plant or an animal are healthy. But obviously this was very, very low intensity. Here we're talking about just thousands of photons per centimeter square per second, or something that would be practically invisible to human eye. Nevertheless, this extraordinary experiment almost definitively confirms that these biophotons, or UPEs, seem to indeed exist, and basically all living beings and everything alive seems to produce just a little bit of light, but we just cannot see it.